Hello everyone, this is Vishwajit Singh, a law student interning at UB Advocate. Today I am going to talk about a current controversial case of hijab ban in Karnataka. Recently, six students were banned from entering a college in Karnataka's Udupi district for wearing a hijab, which is a head covering worn in public by some Muslim women. The issue throws up legal questions on regarding the freedom of religion and whether the right to wear a hijab is constitutionally protected. This was not the first time an incident over a ban on hijab is reported in Karnataka. This happened in 2018 as well. And this year we saw repeat. What happened? How did it all start? Let's look at the timeline of the events. The hijab controversy first started in Udupi's government pre-university college for girls in classes 11th and 12th. On December 27th, two girls asked to leave the class who wearing hijab inside the classroom. According to a report, the college has no hijab policy. The girls usually remove their burqas in the ladies' room before classes start. But this time the college authorities asked to remove hijab as well, for which some Muslim girls protested against that. Similar incidents were reported in 16 other districts of Karnataka. Now this ban on hijab incident has created massively after Hindu students in Chik Chikmagdu district stage uh, sit in protest wearing saffron scarves. After a week, the education minister said that government is planning to introduce uniform dress code. On January 21, Muslim students reached out to the university in support of the protest against hijab ban. On January 31, Muslim girls approached to the High Court of Karnataka seeking interim relief and challenging the ban on hijab in educational institutions. The issue played up after a video from a college in Mandya district drew national attention. On February 7, the Chief Minister Bombay ordered schools to be closed till February 5, 14. The Karnataka High Court is hearing a clutch of petitions challenging the government on banning the hijab in government educational institutions. The in, an, in an interim order on the bench led by Chief Justice Ritu Raj Avasti said that no religious garment must be permitted on campuses until the court reaches a verdict. So what are the key issues before the court and how is religious freedom protected under the constitution? On February 7th, the Karnataka government passed an order exercising its powers under section 133 clause 2 of the Karnataka Education Act 1983. The provision grants powers to the state to issue directives for government educational institutions to follow. In 2013, under this provision, the state had issued a directive making uniforms compulsory for education institutions. Referring to the 2013 directive, the latest directive specifies that a headscarf is not part of the uniform. It states that wearing a headscarf is not an essential religious practice for Muslims that can be protected under the constitution. The order takes refuse in three cases decided by different high courts to hold that banning the headscarf is not a violative of fundamental rights, particularly freedom of religion. The petitioners, however, have argued that the facts and circumstances of the three cases are different and cannot be applied to the Karnataka case. This means that the court will have to first decide whether wearing a hijab is an essential religious practice or not. So what are the grounds on which the Karnataka government order has been challenged? The petitioners have argued that wearing hijab is an expression protected under Article 19, Clause 1A of the Constitution which guarantees the right to freedom of speech and expression. Constitutionally, a right under Article 19, Clause 1, Subclause A can only be limited on the reasonable restrictions which are mentioned under Article 19, Clause 2. This includes sovereignty and integrity of India, friendly relations with foreign states, public order, decency, morality or in relation to contempt of courts, defamation or incitement to an offence. The petitioners have argued that a student silently wearing a head hijab or head scarf and attending class cannot be in any manner be said to be a practice that disturbs public order or is only a profession of their faith. The petitioners have also argued that the ban on head scarves violates the fundamental right to equality since other religious markers such as a turban worn by Sikh are not explicitly prohibited. Senior advocate Sanjay Hedge. Uh, appearing for the petitioners also argued that the rules prescribed wearing of a dupatta for women and the state cannot dictate the manner of wearing that dupatta if a student wishes to cover her head with it. How is religious freedom protected under the constitution? Article 25, Clause 1 of the constitution guarantees the freedom of conscience and the right freely to profess, practice and propagate religion. It is the right that guarantees a negative liberty, which means that the state shall ensure that there is no interference or obstacle to exercise this freedom. However, like all fundamental rights, the state can restrict the right, right of for grounds of public order, decency, morality, health and other state interests. The implication of this are freedom of conscience, right to profess, right to practice and right to propagate. Thank you so much.